Okay, now before we get to uh, example one, a separable equation is a first order differential equation in which the expression for dy dx can be factored as a function of x times a function of y. So in other words, it can be written in the form dy over dx, which is equal to g of x times f of y. Now the name separable comes from the fact that the expression on the right side can be separated into a function of x and a function of y. And equivalently, if f of y does not equal zero, then we could write dy over dx, which is equal to g of x over h of y, where h of y would then equal one over f of y. And to solve this equation, we would rewrite it in a differential form. It would be h of y dy equals g of x dx. So that all the y's are on one side of the equation and all the x's are on the other side. Then we integrate both sides of the equation. So we would have the integral of h of y dy, which is equal to the integral of gx dx. So for example number one, we're going to be solving a separable equation. So we're going to solve the differential equation dy over dx, which is equal to x squared over y squared. So for part A, we're going to rewrite the equation in terms of differentials and integrate both sides. So we're going to have y squared dy, which is equal to x squared dx. And then we're going to integrate both sides. So when we integrate both sides, we're going to get one third y cubed, which is equal to one third x cubed plus c. Now we can go a little further with this. But before we do, let's talk about that c, because c is an arbitrary constant. We would have used a constant c1 on the left side and another constant c2 on the right side, but then we would combine these constants by writing c equals c2 minus c1. So if we want to solve for y over here, if we multiply this entire equation by 3, then we're going to get y cubed is equal to x cubed plus 3c. And then taking the cube root of both sides, then we would have the cube root of x cubed plus 3c. And therefore, that's how we're getting that result. Now, we could leave the solution like this, or we can then write it in the form. And this form means that we're going to have y, which is equal to the cube root of x cubed plus k, where then k is a constant, and it's going to equal 3c. And then since c is an arbitrary constant, so would be k. So now if we want to find the solution of this equation that satisfies the initial condition where y of 0 is equal to 2, we would let x equal 0 and y is equal to 2, and then plug it into the solution that we got in part a. So y is going to equal 2, x is going to equal 0, and then we're going to solve for k. So we end up with 2, which is equal to the cube root of k. We're going to cube both sides, so k is going to equal 8. And so now we're going to substitute k to be 8. So y is equal to the cube root of x cubed plus 8 would be one uh, solution of the equation that satisfies that condition. So if you look at this figure, it's going to show graphs of several members of the family of solutions of the differential equation in example one. The solution of the initial value problem in part B is shown in red. So this is the one that's in red, which represents this function here.